Nifty Film Education Series. Hey guys, how you doing today? This is the Nifty Film Education Series. Today we're gonna mint an NFT on Manifold Studio. We, last time we created a smart contract on Manifold. This time we're gonna actually mint some NFTs. We're gonna connect our wallet through our MetaMask right there, but we're gonna switch over to the Rinkaby Test Network. Rinkaby Test Network. So we can uh, do some tests on these first before we spend our hard earned ETH. So I have one here made already for my short film, Close But No Cigar. I'm minting all my movies right now to the blockchain. Let's make a fresh one. Let's do uh, 519 to Molina, my short documentary, 519 to Molina. This is going to be an NFT that will be available for be, to be purchased. This is going to be a one-on-one. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload a little GIF we've made for the thumbnail. We're just going to have the... Uh, we're just going to have the main title come up right there, 519 to Molina, a little documentary I made about a decade ago um, about uh, a very large man trying to race a, a Major League Baseball player to first base, um, and it hasn't been online in a really, really long time, so now it can be, it can be yours. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to charge for it yet. We'll figure it out, but let's put in some information here. It's created by Upstart Film Collective. That's our production company. We have some copy that we wrote many, many years ago for it that we'll put in the description right there. And then um, we want to then just make sure our copy is good. Copy does look good. And then uh, I wrote a little, um, because this is uh, uh, the intellectual property of Major League Baseball in the United States, um, we just want to let <laughs> all collectors out there know that uh, you don't actually get the intellectual property of Major League Baseball. Um, this is still a, a patent pending situation. We're still waiting for permission ourselves. Um, we never really went out and asked for it, but you know, what are you going to do? This is a one of one. You can only get it here. So let's just, uh, I like to put in some copy, make sure everything looks right. You can certainly use the movie for anything else you want. I don't know what you would want, but, uh, you're, you're welcome to it. So. So we will make sure all of our text looks good. We have the website in there that looks good. Like you'll be able to go to the website from the OpenSea listing. Now here we actually, it auto fills, like my name is the artist name, but we're gonna change it. This is how we put the full movie up there. We're gonna go over to our Pinata account. Pinata is an IPFS pinning service. As you can see, I've already uploaded. This is, you can pay 15 cents per gigabyte per month, which is what I'm paying or you can do it, there's a free plan up to one gig if you just want to mess around and you upload it through Pinata onto IPFS, they'll pin it. You'll have a URL that you can put in there. You have to change the property to hidden. See how we change it to hidden. And then we have to type in animation underscore URL and put in that HTTPS gateway dot Pinata, that IPFS address of the film itself. This is how we're going to see it on Rarible. Um, this is very, very, very important. It's not going to show up on OpenSea. We're going to take a look at what the listing looks like later, um, but only on Rarible will you actually be able to see the the video file that we, we just accessed right there. We can put in a couple of other properties. We'll just add some text properties for the year. 2009 is when we made it. Shot it in 1080p. Just thought, you know, put a little extra information in there. And then we're going to test, uh, we're going to mint it to the test net, the Rinkeby test network. We still have some of that fake test ETH that we got when we created the smart contract. Very, very low fake gas prices on, on this fake test network. And we're just going to let that go through. And that'll take a little bit of time to uh, validate to the Rinkby test network. And we'll be right back. And oh, look at that. Beat us to it. So what we do is we can take a look now on Rarible. It takes a little bit of time to show up. Um, even though the transaction went through, it takes a little bit of time. So let's reload that. Let's see what happens. Back here to Manifold Studio. Let's uh, let's take a look at it on OpenSea. Let's see if anything's shown up there. Now, like I said, through this, uh, through all of this testing and messing around trying to get this method to work, you will not be able to see the movie, even though it's in the metadata, and you can see the properties right there. Even though it's in the metadata, the address of the film itself on IPFS, it will not display. It will only display that thumbnail. So we're not going to, when we actually make the listing for these uh, and put them for sale, we're only going to do it on Rarible because it's the only website where you can actually view the movie. And let's pop over to Rarible one more time. Now, the only thing about Rarible is because it's got to load up that whole thing, we got to wait 
10 full minutes. But when we come back to it, 10 full minutes later, you can see all the info that we typed in is, is there. There's the movie playing. It has audio. It's got a little counter right there. It's the whole movie playing on IPFS. A really nice presentation right here. You can even open the original on IPFS. You can see actually at the top, it changed the gateway from uh, from from Pinata's gateway, their public gateway that was in the URL. They do it through their own uh, rareable gateway on IPFS. So that actually gives you a little bit more uh, bandwidth as well because rareable has their own gateway, which is pretty cool. So we'll come back to Manifold Studio during the 10 minutes that we waited for the first token to show, show up on Rarible. We made another listing for the other short film that we are uh, putting up on Nifty Film Classics for expiration date. That's a movie we made like well over a decade ago, but it hasn't been online in forever. So it's coming back to you out of print. And as you can see, again, we waited about 10 minutes for the, for the token to load up on Rarible, but it's got the copy up there that we typed in. It's got, uh, we shot this one in 720p because it's that old, but it's got the audio, it's got the counter. We can open the original IPFS, look at that, Rarible, it's going through their gateway. So you get, it streams instantly. Like I don't have super fast internet here. I mean, cable internet, so it's all right. It's not crazy, crazy fast. It's not crazy, crazy, crazy slow. And it streams almost instantly. Like we're, I'm so happy about that. And as you can see, it's got all the copy we have in there and, and everything and uh, yeah. And here's another thing you can do. We can see what the token looks like on Looks Rare, even though um, there's no link on Manifold Studio about it. We can go to looks, uh, looksrare.org, connect our wallet right there. We can go through all the terms of agreement. Let's go. I got it. Let's go. Let's go. And then we can go in. They have their own little Rinkby test network uh, site as well. So we'll go to their test network site. We have the wallet that will get connected up through the MetaMask on the test network. Let's switch over to the Rinkby test network again. Bring that up, connect our MetaMask, connect our wallet, get all that going next, connect. I do agree, let's go, I got it, let's go, jeez. So we can go to my items because it's connected to the wallet and it's already in there. Um, as you can see, it plays the uh, thumbnails for the three movies that we had uh, minted on there. We can even go to the listing itself and see if the movie plays. Will the movie play? Is that the movie loading? Is that the movie loading? No, it's the GIF thumbnail loading. So Looks Rare will not play the movie, just like OpenSea will not play the movie. It will only show that. It is in the metadata. The URL of the film on IPFS is in the metadata. So like you could still move that token around. It doesn't get, you know, it stays with it but it only shows the film properly on Rarible. So for longer form uh, films like these, which are 10 minutes each, I always recommend, uh, we're gonna list these on Rarible. You can see them on all three websites, but the listing will only be live on Rarible so people can actually watch the film that they're buying. So we'll come back to Manifold Studio here, make sure we're on the main net. We're gonna get these things now. We've seen what they look like on the test networks. Uh, we know it works best on Rarible. So now we have to actually review and finalize and get this thing uh, minted. So we're gonna go back to the first one. I made a draft to this one uh, before I recorded uh, the tutorial for the other one. So I'm just gonna mint this one first, see how I have the resolution in the year in there as the properties. The, the URL is in there the same way that I showed you guys earlier. We're gonna mint one of these and this is how long it took to go to Arweave. Let's speed it up a little bit. It took one minute and 39 seconds to upload the, uh, the thumbnail. Goes to Arweave through Manifold Studio. And then it comes to us to accept the gas fee for the Ethereum transaction. 0.008 ETH, about 25 bucks. That doesn't seem so bad. So let's confirm that. And that's confirmed. And then we're going to wait. Uh, oh, oh, we just caught it just as it was reloading. It's the same price, 0.008. We'll, we'll confirm that. That happens on as, as you know, the price updates itself really quick, so sometimes you get caught in mid-click. So there it is, minted. It took about 15 seconds. That wasn't that bad, probably a little even less than that. So that was really cool. And then we can go to the token on Rarible straight away right there. And there it is. We're on the regular. This thing is live now. Now, we haven't uh, uh, placed it for sale yet, but it is live. It's an actual transaction on the blockchain, and this is the, the live listing on Rarible. You can see we can poke through the movie. It's accessing that uh, hidden property with the animation underscore URL 
um, that we cut and pasted. Um, and it streams really, really well, and I'm really, really happy about that. So that's pretty cool. So we can go back and let's, uh, we can get another one of these minted up. I'll do one more um, before we let you guys go and, and, and start minting on, uh, on Manifold Studio yourself. So we have that. And as you can see, the gateway.pinata, that's uh, Pinata's public uh, gateway. But Rarible will pump it through their public gateway, which is pretty cool. So minting the 519 to Molina will just blast through this. It's uploading to Arweave. There it is, 0 0.007. This gas fee is even a little bit cheaper. It took about five minutes total, start to finish, just to get that minted. And that's how you create an NFT using Manifold Studio. Thanks for joining us. Subscribe now.